Today we're going to go over how to use the Survey 3 camera on a drone that does not have a connection to the drone itself from the camera. Prior to using the Survey 3 camera with your drone, you're going to want to make sure that the memory card is inserted into the camera when it's off, then you're going to want to power on the camera, then you're going to want to go into the settings and format the SD card. Now this is very important because the camera needs it formatted in a very specific way and doing it in the camera is better than doing it on your computer. So when you're using the images and after you've used them and moved them to your computer, it's easier to just delete the DCIM folder that's on the memory card so you don't have to format in the camera. But as a good rule, always make sure that you go into the settings, you format the SD card so that you don't get the memory error issue that may show with blue background and white text letting you know that the memory is not formatted in the correct way for the camera to capture images. Next, you're going to want to check the interval setting that's on the camera. Now, since the drone is not controlling the triggering of the images, you're going to want to make sure that you use the timer setting, also known as the interval setting on the camera. Going into the photo settings, you're going to check the interval value. Now, the default setting is half a second, 0.5 seconds, and that is the fastest that the camera can take the images in succession based on the memory card speed you're using. Now, the total interval time is going to be the time on the camera plus the variable of how fast your SD card memory is saving. So once you're in the interval setting option and you see the 0.5 second set, you're going to, you can drag on the screen up or down to adjust the value. Now, again, we recommend leaving it on a 0.5 second because there really is no issue with capturing more images than you may need. It'll just result in a better stitched image in your final output. The next thing you're going to want to do is check to see if the RAW setting is on. Now by default it is off. What that means is that it's only going to capture JPEG images and not capture RAW. If you're capturing JPEGs, the camera will shoot faster so you'll get more images during your survey. But if you'd like to capture better data, meaning non-compressed, non-gamma applied, etc., you're going to want to capture RAW plus JPEG. So going into the photo settings again, you can go to the RAW mode, then you can drag to on and then back out of the settings. And that will enable RAW plus JPEG mode. What happens is that the JPEGs will actually contain all of the metadata for the images, and the RAW images will actually contain the pixel information. And in post-processing, we'll be showing you how to convert the RAWs to TIFFs. So here we have a Phantom 4 and our single camera tilting mount. You can see that it's attached to the drone using the original screw holes that come on the Phantom and the camera is attached to the camera mounting plate with a GPS on top. Now, this mount allows you to adjust the tilt angle such that as the drone is flying forward, the camera is tilted so that it's as parallel to the ground as possible based on the drone's flight speed that it's doing during the mission. To get started, you can use any mapping application you normally would use with your drone because the Survey 3 W camera lens is almost identical to the stock lens that comes on cameras such as the Phantom or the Mavic. Now, for most applications, 70-70 front and side overlap is going to be sufficient, but we also recommend increasing if you can, and that will simply add more photos and better overlap to your mission and ultimately result in a better stitched final product. In order for the reflectance data to be calibrated, you're going to also want to purchase our ground target. Now that the camera is capturing images, we're going to lift the drone up, position it three to four feet above the target, and let the camera capture a few images. Okay, so we're getting the mission set up. The Survey 3 camera is capturing images. Loading the mission onto the drone now. Okay, and now we're ready to take off. Here we go. Now, to stop the camera from capturing images, we simply hold down the front button and power it off. That's it for capturing images. Now let's go into the post-processing. 